here are the um, the jitterbug lures that I've made so far. This is uh, the little tiny one that I made a, um, a complete video of the fabrication of this thing. Uh, this is the one I made uh, while I was doing the instructional part of getting the proportions right on these designs. And this is the big one I made originally. Um, it's time to paint. My intention is to paint these more or less frog colors. So that means uh, green, dark green, lighter green, some black. Um, this one I'm going to paint black. I want to have a, a black jitterbug. And then I'll put maybe some little highlight colors. This this one I'm going to do a little different. Uh, I'd like to do it in, in pearlescent white. I haven't set where the eyes are going to go yet. But I think I'm going to do that before I paint. These are the eyes I'm gonna use. They're frog eyes. You can see they got that weird shaped center. I'm gonna eyeball where the eyeball's gonna be. So somewhere along the center line between here and there, and probably closer to the, the, the fat point. First one's always the easy one because you can put it anywhere you want and then you gotta match the other one. That's the difficult one. doesn't take much just enough to create a flat spot for the eye to sit in and that looks pretty good you can see ready I'm just gonna do the rest um, and then we'll start painting okay that's all of them I'll clean them a little bit with some uh, light sandpaper but that gives me some good eye sockets uh, for all three and they're ready to paint okay I'm gonna start painting uh, with a little tiny one because that's the one that's gonna be easiest to get started because it's going to be all black to start with and then it'll have some highlight colors. That's almost all black. That's my intention is to have a little bit of black along the top of this lip the belly is going to be kind of a yellowy orange and I'm going to bring that yellowy orange up here a little bit with a little bit of red. You can see I kind of got the rim on that. And everything is nice and opaque black. This one's going to be kind of a classic green frog. The belly will be kind of a, a yellow as well. So I'll switch. I'll paint this bit yellow. I'll paint the belly on that one yellow. And then I'm going to come up uh, with a, a light sort of apple green on the, on the sides here and then on the very top I'm gonna go with a dark uh, kind of a moss green. I'm gonna have to um, get some cover on this since this has some pretty bold um, grain too. It's kind of different for me I don't work with raw wood very often so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with some opaque white just to seal it I mean, it's, it's sealed with a wood sealer, but I, I need to seal the color. So this is what it looks like. White. And it's a good starting point for some nice colors. I've got the base coats on, uh, on all three of them. I also have mounted them all on the lure bows just to make them easier to handle. So I got the, uh, the eyes on this one, except for the belly eye. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the black one since this one's really close to having most of the paint on there. And kind of neaten up that line a little bit, get that yellow down off the eye. That looks much better, a little more happy more happy with that the way that came out so the idea now ironically is to add some opaque yellow near the back of the eye just some uh, some little pattern dots and then uh, in the middle of those I'll put a little bit of moss green I'll start inside the eye this way if I make a little mistake it doesn't matter Too bad. So I'll have a little bit on this chin. In there, there you go. That'll do it. So I'm gonna hit it with this, and I'm gonna put some eyes on it and you'll see it before it gets clear coated. All right, that should be fun to fish with. All right, we're gonna move on to this guy. Now, I got this guy painted up and sealed pretty well. Uh, we'll work the lighter colors first. Yellow belly on it. This is an apple green. This is what I'm going to use, a wicked apple green. I'm going to cover the, the whole top of the lure uh, because the next color will be a lot darker. It will be the moss green and that'll kind of, that'll cover this as well. So let's, let's go. I'm gonna go with the moss green. That what my expectation is that moss green will sort of be a very dark top, and I want it to go beyond the top of the eye, but then just sort of mist out a little bit, not be a hard line. a little bit of a transition in the dark to light I'm gonna go ahead and put the really light yellow right along there just like I did with the black one that very ye light yellow and then the dark centers start right behind the eye that up with uh, some dark paint. I'm gonna make a little halo around this eye because I just don't think this eye is gonna look right. makes it look very animated. That looks very froggy. So, I'm kind of torn with this one. I really, I did want to make it sort of very simple. Hit it with some pearlescent paint. I'll probably come back and touch that yellow up a little bit. It takes quite a bit of, of pearl paint to cover. If you look closely, you can see the little pearlescent flecks that are suspended in the paint. If you're painting through a really fine tipped airbrush, 
Be ready for clogged. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn into this into a saltwater lure. I've never tried a jitterbug on saltwater, but I'm gonna take this and do some like uh, maybe pearlescent blue on top and maybe highlight it around the eye and just that bright yellow and then uh, orange here and then red up in the, in the lip. That's tequila sunrise kind of thing going. Gotta say that's a satisfying color to paint with. It's so pretty. Nice. Okay. So that looks pretty much like a saltwater lure. Okay, so I put some big eyes on this. Looks very salt watery. Here they are, ready for clear coat. 